So uh, this was the first week where we did not have Black Clover uh, on Tuesdays. And it sucks. Um, like, I'm not going to lie. Real, really, really sucks. But uh, hey, they decided to... They decided to end it, and we got a movie coming out. Apparently, there was supposed to be there was supposed to be like a another announcement after the anime was out, and that never manifested. So I'm guessing the other announcement was the movie, and I don't think this is going to be the movie is going to be canon. Like, I think it's going to follow... It's not going to follow the Demon Slayer route where the the movie that's out for Demon Slayer is in the manga. Like, it's the next part of it. I think they're going to more Hero Academia mark uh, route or DBZ route where it's just a side story. Um, so I don't think you have to worry about that. If you are if you still want to watch the Dark Triad saga, I don't know that the movie is going to be required viewing. I could be completely wrong. And if I am, feel free to yell at me in the comments. But uh, yeah, it's it sucks. We do get a movie. Um, there hasn't been an announcement as if there's going to be, you know, is as Black Clover going to become seasonal? If it's going to come back, uh, the studio I know is apparently going to be re uh, redoing the rest of Bleach. Uh, so that could be a couple of years. I don't know how much. It's been so long since I've watched Bleach. I don't remember where it left off at in the manga and I like a lot of people stop reading the manga once the quality just went in the trash I don't even mean just the story just the art quality went in the trash so I don't know how much stuff they have left to adapt to Bleach what I would imagine is is once that's done they might pick up Black Clover again there'll be plenty of content to adapt um, but maybe they're taking a similar um, approach to how David production is probably working. Um, Jojo part six did get announced this week. So we are going to have Jolene's story. And uh, I imagine once Jojo part six is done, uh, we'll get an announcement for fire Force season three for the final season. I would imagine because I don't, I, you know, I can see the uh, fire force manga actually going the rest of the year. Uh, Cause uh, this is going to be one long final arc, I think. But anyway, back to black clover. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, there's a loss uh, in there where you, I've been watching this show, what, three years, two years, every Tuesday. I even watched the, the filler, but it's funny that this had the same kind of life cycle World Trigger did. Now, Black Clover had way more episodes, I believe, than World Trigger did, but World Trigger, prior to its cancelization, had a filler arc and then like five or ten episodes of manga adaptation before it went under black clover did something similar had a long filler arc and about five to ten episodes i'm exaggerating on five it's like ten episodes of manga adaptation and ended so some something got mistranslated uh to me it, it was like it why even do the filler arc if you knew it was going to go under S something happened where the you know the, the the manga wasn't moving fast enough or whatever because they had what they adapted they adapted up to pretty quickly like we would have been got we would have got caught up in like five episodes i'm not i'm not over exaggerating that to what's going on in the current manga so i'm not bemoaning them doing it i just find it interesting that they decided to go with the filler arc instead of just not doing that and ending it after the elf arc right like the elf arc would have been a good stopping point um maybe you could have teased the audience where asta gets picked up by the court and asta's standing court and then it stands there but i don't i'm guessing they want to you know end it on a more hopeful note like uh this final episode ends with Lee Bay and asta forming their friendship pact and and then there's like a montage of all the um stuff that asta went through and that uh, things are going to be back. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I just, uh, yeah, there's a whole, there's a whole man in, in my, in my soul uh, on Tuesdays. You know, they took away my ReZero on Wednesdays, took away my Black Clover on Tuesdays. I don't have Juju Kaisen, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen on Fridays anymore. Uh, World Trigger Season 2 on Saturdays is gone. 
Uh, Attack on Titan is not coming back till next December, uh, which I did read the final chapter of that today, uh, and uh, it ended about the way I thought it would. I'm not gonna spoil anything on that, but uh, I think a lot of people are mad about it. I'm I'm not really. I'm kind of exactly how I thought would happen. It has a similar ending that I think Berserk will probably have, honestly. Um, we can talk about that. I'll, I'll make that a whole other uh, session sometime where I think where, where I think Berserk will go. But um, yeah, man. Uh, uh, thanks for the fun Black Clover anime. Uh, thanks to the studio who did it. They did a pretty good job. There wasn't really too many episodes where the animation was terrible. There's a couple, but not too many. Um, I'm gonna miss seeing Yami and the crew for a while. I know we do got Hero Academia starting back up on Sundays, so that's really the only anime I'm watching this season right now. Uh, speaking of that, if you guys got uh, anime recommendations, or even like niche manga, seinen manga, uh, seinen or even shonen, I prefer the older shonen stuff. That's, I think that's why I like Shonen Magazine uh, that uh, publishes Seven Deadly Sins and Fire Force a little better. But um, let me know what you're uh, reading and what you're watching this, this uh, season. Um, I like to check out new stuff all the time, but uh, you know I'm just dry on anime this season, man. It's just uh, it's just Hero Academia. Um, if something pops up, I don't know. I it, I I do think there's interesting out, things out there, but the problem is is uh, I think they're on multiple different streaming services. Like Shaman King is is airing right now, and I know that the final season of Seven Deadly Sins are, are airing right now. But you know what the freaking problem is? They're Netflix exclusive, so you don't get to watch legally the simul stream. You have to wait till they're all done, and then Netflix will translate and release them sometime in the next two years. And I'm exaggerating. Probably at, in the fall, I would imagine, for both of those, but still. Those are two things that are, are, that are interesting I would watch right now if I didn't want to go hunt down a, you know, a, a not-so-good stream. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna say what but uh yeah so yeah let me know uh what's going on in anime tell me your favorite black clover anime moments how did you get into it um uh, before i go i'll share mine like i said i was watching world trigger uh world trigger ended i got into black clover i was not annoyed by asta um he was in i, I didn't i noticed that there was a trend now uh among these new shonens about having protagonists that are lame sort of and uh, don't have any powers, and to get them, you know, you got uh, Osamu, you've got Deku, you've got Asta. Of, of those three, though, Asta's probably the most not lame of them all. Like, Deku and Asta both got the, the working out thing, which I appreciate because I, I, I work out six days a week. I'm a big gym fanatic. Um, but uh, Deku does not have Asta's attitude. Deku is a little more sensitive. Asta is just, you know, go out there and take the world by the balls um and uh deku's not constantly mocked for being quirkless only by one person he's mocked by bakugo the rest of people don't know that everybody mocks asta for having no magic even even with the demon and even though that he can whoop all their ass so and he still keeps a positive attitude so maybe deku just has super duper imposter syndrome and his character just throws it just I'm not a fan of Deku as a character. I like the other characters in Hero Academia. I'm not, I'm not saying I hate the guy. I, I still like the show, and I'm rooting for him. But if I had to put him on, you know, like a a scale, Asa is number one in terms of attitude. Uh, he's right up there with my boy Guts. You know, struggle on, struggler. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, I got in that. I liked Asta. It reminded me of World Trigger. Um... The, the rival situation with you know showed up right away um and then the expansive cast of characters drew me in i didn't really know where it was going up until like uh until episode four and then they joined uh, the black bulls and you get to see the misfits and um i think i was really hooked by the time that uh, noel and magna go and asta go to help that village and noel first does the sea dragon's lair uh, that's when I was really into it. I was like, okay, this is good. This is gonna be a good weekly uh, to watch. So, tell me your what got you into Black Clover anime, uh, or were you a manga viewer first and you already knew about it? You knew it'd be popular. Tell me uh, in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, so uh, that's all I got for now. Uh, as soon as those other Fire Force chapters are are out, uh, I will get those up and we'll talk about them. 
Um, I don't think I'm going to wait for two of them to come out. Um, I'll probably just talk about them one by one. I don't know if I'll live stream them or do personal videos or whatever. But uh, we'll get that going. So, uh, 